Hi, I'm Nancy and I live just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. I could do an hour here, but I'll try to keep it a little shorter. Um, I have been a Republican voter my entire life. The few times I didn't vote Republican, I voted Libertarian. I had never voted for a Democrat in my life until this past spring when I voted in my first ever primary and the Democratic primary at that. I am also married to a former conservative radio talk show host. So as you can imagine, conservative values is where we lived, but he also was with me at the Democratic primary. And that is because that in 2016, when Donald Trump came on the scene and we didn't really take him seriously, but somehow by some stretch, he won. We did not vote for him. We voted for Gary Johnson at the time. And since then he has shown himself to be far scarier than I even was afraid he would be. He has shown that he doesn't care about our country he doesn't care about the Constitution, the rule of law. He has no sense of fair play. He has no decency and he is dishonest. And this is clear. And as much as policy matters, those other things have to come first. He represents us to the world. He, re he represents you and I, and I can't support somebody like that. I have become a bit of an activist because of Donald Trump and an activist for Joe Biden. And I have been yelled at, I have been called names, I have lost friends, but it's all okay because I have to be able to look in the mirror and I have to support somebody that deserves the presidency of the United States and that's not Donald Trump. If you are a Republican and you find it implausible to vote for a Democrat, I will just tell you, it's not that hard. And I will do it in the general election, and I will do it happily. I'm asking you to consider, please, vote Biden 2020.